Hello, what's up, y'all? It's Papa with Cracking It. Today, about to react to this vid is titled Cardi B Drag for Sloppy Kamala Speech. Deny she was paid for speech and Megan gets dragged too. Lord. Uh, let, let's hear what, what happened. Let's watch. So, you guys already know that Cardi B is endorsing Kamala Harris, and she was at Kamala Harris rally in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and she gave a speech, and a lot of people felt like her speech was sloppy. <laughs> But I heard <laughs> this voice just threw me off a little bit. It sounds like she's a little stuffed up. Might be a little sick. Get, get well, girl. That her teleprompter did cut off in the beginning of her speech. Now, people was going in on Cardi B on Twitter. One person said, who the F and Kamala campaign? I thought it was a good idea to give Cardi B a mic. Let she don't hear. even know what the F she's doing up there. Someone else said, low IQ. The generate Cardi B literally admits the cost of groceries is terrible under the last four years of Kamala Harris. She also proudly declares Kamala Harris will set price controls on food in America. This is literally what a useful idiot looks like. So another Twitter user chimed in and said Cardi B brags about how she you know what men and robbed him. She just endorsed Kamala Harris in case she needed more motivation to go vote. Someone else then said a literate stripper turned rapper oh who publicly admitted to you know what and robbing black men. Cardi B was unable to read the teleprompter while spewing non-sensual nonsense for the Democratic Party candidate Kamala Harris. So a person on Twitter that goes by the name of Tony Lane says, Breaking, they can't even hide it anymore. Reports say Cardi B was paid a huge undisclosed amount to go on stage and read a speech written by someone in Kamala's campaign. At this point, it's embarrassing and does a disservice to celebrities who lack comprehension. And Cardi B responded and said, I did not get paid a dollar for this. I actually been talking about these topics for the past couple of years for free on all platforms. Before I was a celebrity, I was a product of poverty for 24 years. So you're not gonna tell me what I wanna see in my community. This is awkward. Okay. So I don't take lightly the call. Sorry guys, I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous, guys. I've been waiting for this moment this whole life. My whole this life. Whole life. Oh. I need patience over here. Oh. Patience, where are you, girl? I need patience over here. Oh my God. Hold on, hold on, hold on. How are you guys doing tonight? You already asked for this. This is so. How are you funny. guys doing tonight? Are we ready to make history? This is are not we a concert. Ready to make history? Change these four years. No, are we ready to change the next eight years? Because we're gonna make sure we have Kamala Harris in office for eight years. It's Kamala, girl. You up here and you can't say it right. All right. Vice President Kamala Harris, thank you for having me. I do not take lightly the call to show up, the call to speak up, the call to deliver a message that's been on my heart for a hot minute now. Now, I took my time writing this speech, so I'm gonna make sure I deliver it right. Because I got something I've been wanting to say for a long time. I've been saying it on Twitter, oh, on my man. Instagram, and I'm ready to tell it to you now. Y'all ready to listen? I right, now. Oh, All my right. God. Just like Kamala Harris, I too have been the underdog. I've been underestimated. My success belittled and discredited. Let me tell you something. Let me tell y'all something. Women have to work 10 times harder, perform 10 times better, and still people question us how we got to the top. 
Debbie, like, how she got there? Hold on. Let me get, let me, let me warm up. Yeah. Boy. Let me tell you something. I can't stand a bully. But just like Kamala, I always stand up to one. All the time, I'm ready for them. Yeah. And I'm gonna be real with y'all. I wasn't gonna vote this year. I wasn't. But Kamala was Harris joining the race, she changed my mind. Come. So you've been talking about politics. Please. I did not have faith on any candidate until she joined the race and said the things that I wanted to hear. That I want to see next in this country. All right? I believe in every word that comes out of her mouth. She's passionate, she's compassionate, she shows empathy, and most of all, she is not delusional. Yeah. Yeah. Kamala recognized that this country is at risk, that the economy needs to get stronger, that the cost of food and the cost of living is too high. Damn, it's even high for me! I believe her when she says, under her, oh buying eggs and milk won't break the bank. Because she's gonna pass a ban on price gouging on groceries. And she told me that in my face. So she better not lie to me in my face. Yeah. I believe her when she says she will make housing more affordable by providing Americans with $25,000 in down payment assistance. Yeah! Yeah! Hold on! I got more! Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah, she's promising a lot. And I believe her when she says she will provide a tax cut to 100 million middle-class Americans. That's a lot of Americans! And that includes $6,000 for parents in the first year of child's life. I'm sorry, this is really painful to watch. I can't. <laughs> I can't. Um, this is this is embarrassing. I'm sorry. I, I just can't take her seriously. And the fact that she's claiming she's been so knowledgeable about politics for so long. I talk about it on Twitter all the time. Da, da. I wasn't even gonna vote. It's just like, oh my God. This, <laughs> this is not who you want endorsing you, but whatever. I mean, I I guess Kamala is taking who she can get at this point, child, because I <laughs> I don't understand this. Personally, I don't know why Cardi would even want to go up there and give a speech when, you know, speaking is not her, her strong suit. But this is what she wants to do, and it's her prerogative. So there's that. No shade. Enjoy, I guess. Y'all let me know what y'all think, though. Let me know what other videos you've been watching. I'll see y'all the next one. Bye.